free boat ride. Awesome. We're in a boat. So it is an absolutely perfect day in Interlaken. The weather is just warm enough to be comfortable, but the breeze is just nice enough to kind of keep you cool. So we figured today's the perfect day for a boat trip. And one of the things that was highly recommended to us was taking a boat across Lake Poon to see the sights. It's a two and a half hour ride, and lucky for us, the Euro Pass covers it completely free. We didn't even have to buy any tickets or show tickets. As long as you have a Euro Pass, you just hop on the boat. We're in a boat. T-Pain would be so proud. <laughs> favorite part about this boat ride is the free air conditioning. All this is glacial runoff which means it's really really cold so once you're out here and you're moving a little bit it just feels like you're getting blasted with a nice cold air conditioner on a hot day. It's sweet. Since we're here for a couple of hours I'm gonna bring you some Lake Toon fun facts. Lake Toon used to be a part of one larger lake along with Lake Rings called Lake Wendell but tens and thousands of years ago it broke off during the last glacial period to form its own. After World War II, apparently the Swiss government dumped tons and tons of unused ammunition into the lake. Somewhere in between the range of 3,000 to 9,000 tons. That's a lot. Now there is a restaurant here on the boat where you can shell out money to pay for things like coffee, drinks, food, but you can also pack your own lunch bag. There are picnic tables out on the back side of the boat. This boat ride is just magical, is the only word that I can think of to describe it. <laughs> the huge snow-capped mountains, the beautiful little towns along the way, the sound of the church bells, the water going by, just such a relaxing, wonderful experience. I'd highly recommend it. The boat is a two and a half hour ride, but it stops in a lot of different villages along the way. Like Unten. We just stopped by Speeds, which is a small little town, and you can see the castle from the water. But we decided instead of going to every little village and town, we would just go straight to Tune, take it a little bit more chill and more relaxing. When we went to Cinque Terre, we went and tried to see every single village, and while it was amazing, it was exhausting. So we're gonna take it slow today. It scares me every time. Even if you don't stop in all the villages, it's really nice to be able to see them from the water. There's castles everywhere. There's restaurants and cute cafes on the water the best boat ride ever. And if you're not afraid of a little cold water, don't forget to pack your swimsuit. I again, of course, forgot. I kinda wish I brought my bathing suit as I usually do on hikes. Dang. But there are so many people swimming in the water. It looks so relaxing and so beautiful. Don't forget to pack a swimsuit. This boat driver just backed all the way down, maybe a mile, mile and a half, straight backwards, going like 20 knots, and then landed us directly. It was some amazing captaining. You know what, Europe makes up for in free bathrooms, of which there are basically none. 
Makes up for in really, really good, free, clean water, basically everywhere. Swiss chocolate. I checked on the labels, they're actually made here. Whenever I open these kinds of chocolate bars, I think of Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory, and I think maybe I'll find a golden ticket. Is there one in there? No. They're hazelnuts. We made it to Toon, and it's a cute little small town mm -hmm. on the water. There's a Ferris wheel, there's lots of shops. Lots of little cafes. It's nice. Yeah. So we saw this weird looking colorful tunnel and we thought, why not go through it? Took an elevator and made it up here to a castle yeah. and the top of Toon. Not on our first try though. We uh, made it to a parking garage first and then a different parking garage, but then eventually we hit the right button. <laughs> made it all the way to the top. Yeah, very confusing, but if you're looking to come to the top of Toon and the castle up here, go to level three. Okay, Switzerland is officially a magical place. Uh, they just gave us free beer just for walking into their grocery store. Thank you. <laughs> no real reason, they just said, here's a new beer. Uh, people haven't tried it, do you want to try it? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, uh, we also got a free boat ride to get here, dude. Just, oh, what a, what a place. Place. So if you come out to Toon for a day trip from Interlaken, plan accordingly. Unfortunately, we learned that the earliest boat trip out from Interlaken to Toon was at 11.10, which is what we rode this morning. And then it got us into Toon at 1.20 p.m., which left us only about two hours because the latest boat back was at 3.40, which is what we're on now. We thought we were going to have way more time, maybe three, four hours exploring Toon, but Actually, we only had about two hours. So if you are thinking about taking a day trip, maybe consider extending that stay, staying a night here, or take a train back later that night. Opening my free beer on my free boat ride. Doesn't get much better than this. Thanks. Oost. Use is it. Use it. Use is it. Us is it. Thanks, us is it. Your free beer is excellent, and uh, apparently five cents of every beer goes to trees. Nice. back in the hostel kitchen making another gourmet meal. So tonight what we got, we got the red bell peppers. Ooh, look at that. We got the soon to be cooked pasta. We got the soon to be cooked pasta sauce. Lisa's special fish stick sauce. That goes with our baguette. And the fish sticks in the oven. This is a pretty typical meal that we've been having and having pasta every night. Trying to figure out how to get vegetables into our diet has been difficult, I would say. Just over two pounds of pasta is about 90 cents. A whole big box of fish sticks is like two bucks. 
but then for even just a head of broccoli or something like that it's like three to five dollars so getting vegetables back into our diet hasn't been exactly easy but we go with the bell peppers those are always cheap i don't know why three bell peppers for 150 not bad Now, I know a lot of you have commented on our video before about money and spending and eating out, and we really, really appreciate the advice. And the truth is, we are trying to balance it. It's only been a week, and we spent a lot in the very beginning, and we're trying to scale back. But we promise you, we also are trying to enjoy ourselves. Except when in Switzerland, because having a burger costs like $25. So one of our favorite parts about staying in a hostel is actually being able to cook our own meals. It's kind of like being at home. We have some semblance of home while being on the road. Don't die. Just like I planned it, just like I drew it up. Yep. So we're making some pasta today and saving some money for our next country. I think one of my favorite parts about staying in a hostel is that it feels like you're at home. There are a lot of cozy areas to just hang out, like in a living room or a family room. You can sit out on the patio, have a meal, and you can do some work. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Find a little space, do a little bit of work, some editing, and call it a night. <sighs> okay, so uh, that's it for today. We are about 10 videos behind when it comes to editing right now, so. We have a lot of videos to edit. We've just been busy traveling and haven't spent nearly as much time making these videos as we, as we should. But promise we're still having the best time. Yeah, yeah. So for now, we're just gonna finish up a little bit more work, hopefully get another video ready to go for tomorrow and then call for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. So the boat is a two and wait. We may need to scale down our portion sizes. But it looks pretty good, right? Like not bad. Not bad. There's some vegetables in there. Show them the bunk. Whoa. Privacy. Bye. Hi, bye. Privacy. <laughs> From Jersh. <laughs> Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>